Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakak Kudash, that belongs to the Apostle of the Elders of GMS, who rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akion, the Four Corners, Christian Truth and Sincerity. Peace be unto you. I want to talk about, you know, some of the beginnings, you know, which is the law, you know, and uh, the Ten Commandments, which is more than Ten Commandments, but, excuse me, but the Ten is just to summarize the 613. For the children of Israel that didn't want to go up, you know, to receive the, you know, they were too afraid of the Most High. And to show you how righteous it is. Now, first, I want to compare it with, you know, America's laws. America laws and commandments, there's way more than 613, there's way more than 10. And it, it keeps making laws. And according to the laws of God, it's 613. Some of them you don't have to keep as far as laws, animal sacrifice, you don't got to keep those. You know? So, Mosai says you can govern the earth on 613 commandments, and that's what it is. And America has you govern the earth on thousands upon thousands of commandments and decrees and all this type of stuff federal laws, cyber laws, state laws, uh, uh, cyber laws, all types of laws. And one thing I wanted to say, too, about America is that when you look at the Ten Commandments, how beautiful they are, only about two and a half are illegal in America. And that's, that's fucking sad. And the reason why I say two and a half, because the two that's illegal in America, want to uh, read it, one is stealing. But of course, you got that paper, you got enough money, you can steal shit. You got uh, rich corporate uh, motherfuckers, they steal from you know the poor all the time. So it depends on who you're stealing from, how much you're stealing, because you got blue collar crimes, you know, you steal, uh, you know, corporate money, yeah, they don't really care about that. But you know, uh, let, let a Jake steal a candy bar from uh, a Korean store, you know, he getting shot, you know, so, you know, stealing is illegal. You know, killing is illegal here in America. But then again, you know, if you got that type of money. And the third thing that's, uh, uh, I say, is kind of illegal is adultery. Now, adultery in America, on the books, it's illegal in 22 states. Michigan, which, you know, I have the unfortunate uh, reality of living in, is one of the states where Babylon recognizes adultery, you know, as illegal. But do you think that actually gets uh, prosecuted? Do you think people actually get brought up on charges of adultery here in America? No. So it's illegal on the books. That's why I say two and a half. Like, only really two. So adultery is illegal in 22 states, but they ain't, ain't nobody going to jail or prison because some bitch cheated on her fucking uh, husband. That's not happening. So when you look at the other commandments, they're not illegal. Now, I'll read some of them. Uh, Exodus 10 and 1 God spake all these words saying I am the Lord thy God which have brought you brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage thou shalt have no other gods before me that's not illegal in Babylon you can have as many gods and worship as many idols as you want to uh, verse 4 thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath. So again, that's not illegal. You can do that if you want to in Babylon. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, thy Allahim, am a jealous Allahim, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children of, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy power in vain. That's not illegal in the Babylon again. You don't you don't have to remember the name of of uh, the heavenly Father Yahweh. You know whether you were Israelite, whether you were heathen. Again, that's not a law that they uphold. Uh, verse seven: Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy power in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Again, that's not illegal in Babylon. You can work seven days a week. You can work 24 hours straight. 
you know, go from one job where you work 16 hours, go to another job where you put in another eight hours. You know, there there is no time limit. You know, they got the uh, the labor laws where you can't go over 16 hours, but you can leave that job and go to another job and work another 16 hours straight. You know, so that that's not illegal. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. But the Sabbath day is the day of Yahweh thy God. In it thou shalt do not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor the strangers that is within thy gates. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested on the seventh day, wherefore Yahweh blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Uh, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. Are you going to go to jail or get a misdemeanor for not honoring your father and your mother? Shit, you will get a fucking sex change and, and, and dishonor your father and mother and you'll be celebrated. That's not illegal. Verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee. Verse 13, thou shalt not kill. Again, I was uh, mentioned earlier, you got enough paper, you can get away with murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Again, as I said, 22 states in America recognizes adultery as illegal, but it, again, it's not something that's being prosecuted. You know, nobody in, in America is going, sentenced, being sentenced to death or 25 years to life because they cheated on, and, and, and in fact, it, that don't even apply to somebody that's legally married, you know, because once you have sex with a woman, that's your wife. So if a woman want to go and, you know, she can she can fuck your, your fucking neighbor and you supposed to suck it up, take it on the chin. That's that's not illegal in the Babylon. You know, these women, they, they allowed to run, you know, rampant. And then the men, you know, because a man commit adultery by sleeping with another man's woman. You know, he's allowed to do that here in Babylon. You know, he'd be put to death in any other country, you know, where, you know, where there isn't a bunch of cackism, you know, and they're, they're not influenced by uh, cackery, you know. Honor thy father and thy mother, us like you. Uh, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Uh, again, depends on who you're stealing from. You can, you can, uh, you can steal from the, uh, the poor if you're rich. That's, that's no issue. Just don't get caught, and if you do get caught, you know, pay the right lawyer, you know, throw, throw it under the rug. You know, you're not supposed to take bribery. You're not supposed to respect the person. That's the Deuteronomy chapter 1, and I think verse 17 or verse 18. Thou shalt not bear witness, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. So again, bearing false witness, you got, that. this happens a lot, you know. Uh, again, this is something you possibly could, you know, uh, say is illegal because I think they call it slander. It's supposed to be illegal. But then again, it depends on, you know, what what's being said. You know, there's so much fucking slander that goes on on social media alone. So, again, that's not really, you know, it's, it's on the books, but it's not being, you know, uh, it's not being, you know, you know, forced. You know, so it's... it's about as good as not being on the books. You know, you bear false witness, you know, saying, oh, this person did this, this person did that. You know, that's, that shit is, you know, the, the media does it all the time. They accuse somebody of doing something. You know, Jake could be stand accused of doing something that he didn't do, and they got his name all up in the news. You know, especially with that Me Too movement bullshit, because the, the Me Too movement bullshit, that's, that's like a, the, the new feminist tactic for for women to shame men you know by accusing them of sex of, of rape because once you be in charge with your name your name and face is all over the news now you know how many times uh fucking uh rape cases or rape accusations happen and we don't hear about it being on the news but all these Me Too movements, everybody's accused, their face is blasted on the news. That, therefore, that's slander. If a woman says rape, and she didn't rape you, I mean, you didn't rape her, 
that's slander. She not about to go to jail for that shit. You know, it's like, oh, well, nah. You know, so that's that's uh, fucking slander right there. Because that's what that Me Too movement is designed to do. It's designed to slander men. Because once you have a rape accusation against you, if, especially if you're a high-profile celebrity, it's a wrap. I remember back in the, uh, the days, uh, some of you Akio might be old enough to remember, Kobe Bryant, you know, out there in Eagle County, Colorado, he uh, was accused of having sex and raping this white bitch. Wasn't convicted, just accused. And just being accused alone, he lost so many endorsement deals just by the fact that he was accused of it. So right there, that's a shaming tactic, uh, you know, to put, because why, why put his face in the news? If he was just some other, some random Jake, Kobe Bryant, let's say he was just some random Jake that worked at fucking uh, Taco Bell, would he have been in the news? No. It's about putting his face out there, you know. He's not convicted, you know, but he's guilty in the, the court of public opinion. And now, all, on top of that, we're going to take his endorsements away to the point where he's going to have to settle and pay money to the woman that's accused him just to make the shit go away. And women... That's what women are doing, you know, because sometimes it's better to just pay the bitch just to shut up, you know, knowing that you might lose fucking endorsement deals and, and, and opportunities just because some stupid ass bitch slandered you and buried false witness. Read it, Noah. Read it one more time. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife nor his men's servant, nor his maid servant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. That is not illegal. You can covet as much as you fucking want. And that's one of the, the, the extremely worst sins that you could possibly do because coveting, it, it, not only can you do that in Babylon, but you are encouraged to make other people covet you. You know, you flash money, you want people to covet what you got. You know, you bragging about material wealth, because with Jake, especially Jake men got this idea, well, Jake bitches too. The more people that's jealous of you, the more you look better to other people. Like, ooh, that, oh, everybody's jealous of him. You know, so you try to entice the spirit of jealousy. You know, you want to, oh, I want to stunt on niggas in this new, with this day when they see me with this new ride, niggas going to be mad. You know, and then motherfuckers get mad at you and the other people that are fucking simple like oh look at him you know he, dudes is jealous of him you know I want to be with him because they, they like invoking that spirit of jealousy bitches like doing that too they like making other bitches mad and making bitches jealous you know so the, invoking that spirit of covetousness that's that's not illegal in Babylon